Every moment in life matters because really nothing is promised or guaranteed. For my next guest, Michelle, her life completely changed in an instant. Take a look. The morning of April 20th, I was watching morning TV and she said something about, it. oh, an explosion in Venice. And I said, well, it's probably a refinery or a plant, something like that. It just never really crossed my mind. I didn't think about it. And then my phone rang. And the guy said there was an explosion on a BP rig. And Gordon was unaccounted for. And that's when my heart just dropped. And I kind of just knew. And at that point, I was almost nine months pregnant. And then, you know, you've got a, a toddler who's two. Gordon was looking forward to kids' t-ball games and, and things like that. Those first few days were really rough. And I think Stafford knew something was going on. You know, sometimes I cry and he'll say, you know, mommy, mommy sad or mommy cry. And I'll say yes. And he doesn't really understand what's going on. He hasn't asked, you know, where's daddy? And then I had Max, and he looks just like his daddy, and his presence in the delivery room was just a picture of the family of us on a table. And so he was there. He was there in spirit. And it was hard doing it by myself. I mean, I drove myself to the hospital to have my baby. But he should have been there. Can you make one? Come here, come make one with me. Go get dad dad. When I think about Gordon, I think about his sense of humor and how funny he was, and he can make anybody laugh, and he made me laugh all the time. <laughs> <laughs> I feel this tremendous pressure to, so that my kids will know their dad or Stafford will remember Gordon or stories that I have to tell Max so he knows what his daddy was like. Are you playing golf with daddy? I felt like I had to take all the pictures of him and move them low because I didn't want him to forget his dad. We love daddy, huh? You move the pictures low. Yeah. Wow. So welcome. I really appreciate you being here. How are you feeling? Um, every day is different, day by day. I'm doing better now. Uh, sometimes you don't think you've made a lot of progress, but you look back at it, and I guess it's just baby steps. Baby steps just yeah. to get through the day. Yeah. Why did you think it was important to come and tell your story today? Well, I think there's so many other people that have gone through this, or mainly people that are going to go through this, and, and they're watching this, and maybe tomorrow, maybe 10 years from now, you don't ever think it's going to be you. And if, not that I can help anybody, but, you know, that first morning, oh, you, you, you know don't what? think... I'm going to interrupt you. You can, and you are. Yeah. That literally is what this is all about. You can, and you are. And life goes on, and, and you can choose to be a victim, or you can do something about it. Right. Then you have to, especially with kids. You have to, and I didn't have children. So, I mean, that to me is, is unbelievable, and it's one of the reasons why you're here, because I want to help you preserve those memories for the boys.